I'm Nancy from Cooking with Nancy's uh, video channel. Uh, I have um, a YouTube friend who have asked me uh, to show him how to cook uh, porridge. Now porridge is actually very simple and there's already one existing uh, porridge recipe on my YouTube. If you click on the word browse video, you'll be able to find it. Also on my food blog, nancyscookbook.com, uh, there are pictures of uh, porridge and, and stuff like that and uh, it can also lead you to my cooking videos. So anyway, this morning I'm going to do a slight variation of a porridge using uh, my style of ingredients and how you feel you want to eat it, you know. Uh, but basically, I always use broken rice because broken rice will cook uh, faster instead of the normal uh, whole grain rice. So this rice is, is already broken. You buy them like that in a grocery shop. Broken rice. So that's one cup and a quarter. I have also pre-soaked some beautiful uh, groundnuts or peanuts as you may call it. Wash it. I wash it really very clean and soaked it in water. So I can use this water in boiling my porridge too. It's just a discoloration, um, not discoloration, it's the colour of the porridge that will appear because of the nuts in the skin. I'm going to use a small knob of ginger, uh, which I'll show you how to peel again. And here I have lotus, uh, lotus lily buds, right, lily buds which I can just soak it in water. This cooks in the porridge uh, by itself. So I will just drain off that and cook it. So now to show you how to boil porridge. Get a nice big uh, pot, put in the rice. When I first taught in the evening college in Sydney, I was a cookery tutor uh, for 10 years in the uh, evening college where I taught all professionals professionals in uh, Australia. Um, I have one student that says, do you cook uh, do you wash rice? Of course you wash, wash the rice because there are vivos and dust and all that. It's not just when you say cook in the microwave, it doesn't mean you take the rice and then you just put water and boil. No, you gotta wash all rice, okay? Uh, whether it's uh, rice or porridge or just plain rice. So what you do is you use your fingers to go into the rice to remove all the excess starch and dirt or vivos or whatever small things, minute things which you can't see with your naked eye. So, uh, my mom taught me how to cook rice when I was in year four, you know. I was in year four or standard four. So this is the second time. I started school when I was seven years old. There was no kindergarten in my time. Plus I'm uh, one of the old timers. Uh, so standard four will be about 10 years old. I learned how to cook rice. This is the third wash, and you can see the water runs clear. Uh, never, never take rice and do that because if you do that, you are washing away the uh, vitamins. Uh, as you know, rice is all polished, and all the bran has got uh, a lot, a lot of vitamin. Uh, normally, I wash rice and I just estimate. But because this is a cooking video, <laughs> cooking video, I better show you how much of water I put in. I will still estimate, but at least you can see my uh, measurement here. This is uh, one pint of water that has gone in. Now I use my naked eye to have a look at uh, the level of water, how much I need to cook porridge for a rice. That's pretty good, you know, for rice. That's pretty good. For one, one and a quarter cup of rice, I put in one pint. So for porridge, 
this is two pints and uh, this is three oh, with my naked eye this is three pints of water they'll make a nice uh, porridge but because I'm going to add in my beans uh, this will take okay these are my peanuts groundnuts uh, I've gone in so this is the water that's from there uh, that will, I will add on to all together add it up bring it up to another pint right oh that's a beautiful volume I can see with my eye so you watch how many pints I put in okay if you forget please re-watch my cooking video and here is the uh, the uh, Lily box I've spoken about. I washed it now and just throw it in. Put it to boil and later I'll put in ginger. Now bring it to a boil on your stove. And cover it so that will speed up the cooking while I do the ginger. Now ginger, how I uh, how would you Peel the ginger. Normally, Chinese or most Asian, they will just scrape it like that. I'm showing you again how I clean my ginger, but uh, obviously, in my previous videos, I have done the same thing. So normally, when I was in the uh, TEF classes, I see my friends. They really cut into the ginger. When you cut into the ginger, you're actually wasting a lot of ginger. And as you know, ginger was very cheap before. Uh, way back in uh, 1986, ginger used to be $6 a kilo. Now, it is $20, $30 a kilo, right? Winter time, it can go up to $40. So that's already pretty clean. I just scraped. Uh, the outside of the ginger. This is an old ginger. The old ginger, give it a wash, uh, the old ginger gives you a very nice fragrant young ginger. I would use it to um, I would use it to actually um, steam my food with it, right? Like fish or whatever. Okay, you can slice the ginger like that and throw it in your porridge or you can always use your pounder to pound just give it one good bash and that will do to go into the ginger right you can just pound it or you can use your cleaver as well give it a bash now this oh i can smell the beautiful ginger fragrant. So bring this to a boil and that's it. Just keep on boiling until the texture of the porridge is nice and soft. Like uh, oats, you know. If you eat oats in the morning, the cereal oats, then you will know that consistency. Then you can put in your fish, you can put in your meat. Or you can just leave it plain to serve with your main meals. Alright. Thank you. That's all about porridge. Have a nice day. Bye.